Did you know that trees just like humans have a way of communicating with each other? Yes, you heard it right. Trees aren't solitary figures silently standing in the forest. They are part of a complex interconnected network, a hidden world beneath our feet. These majestic beings have a secret language, one that allows them to send and receive vital information. This communication system, believe it or not, helps them grow, thrive and navigate their environment. Trees can send distress signals about drought and disease, for example, or call in the troops when they are under attack by insects. They can even share resources, passing nutrients and water to those in need. This intricate, unseen network is a testament to the incredible adaptability and resilience of nature. Isn't it fascinating to think of trees as social beings, sharing resources and information? Now, you might be wondering how exactly do trees communicate through something scientists call the Wood Wide Web. Isn't that fascinating? This isn't some fantastical fairy tale but a real scientifically proven phenomenon taking place right beneath our feet. The Wood Wide Web is actually a complex network of mycorrhizal fungi that weaves its way through the soil, connecting tree roots in an intricate underground system. These fungi form a symbiotic relationship with the trees, helping them absorb water and nutrients from the soil. In return, the trees provide the fungi with sugars produced during photosynthesis. But this network serves a much grander purpose. It's like a bustling information superhighway, where trees send and receive chemical signals. They're not just standing there silently. They're talking, sharing, warning, and even nurturing each other through this hidden network. Imagine a tree in distress, perhaps attacked by pests. It can send out an SOS through the wood wide web. This distress signal is picked up by neighboring trees which respond by increasing their production of defensive chemicals, effectively preparing themselves for a potential attack. It's akin to a neighborhood watch, but for trees. And it doesn't stop there. The wood wide web also serves as a lifeline for weaker trees, especially seedlings. Older, more established trees can share nutrients with younger ones, helping them survive and grow. It's like the tree version of looking out for the next generation. In essence, the wood wide web is a testament to the remarkable interconnectedness of nature. It's a complex system of communication, cooperation and mutual support among trees. It's a world of whispers and signals, of shared resources and collective defense, all happening right under our noses. So just like we use the internet to connect with each other, trees have their own version of it, right beneath our feet. But why do trees need to communicate? What's the benefit? Well, let's delve deeper. Trees use their underground networks to send and receive vital information. This communication helps them to survive in challenging conditions. For instance, when a tree is running low on essential nutrients, it can send out a signal, and healthier trees can share what they have. It's like a natural form of welfare, ensuring that no tree is left behind. Tree communication also provides a robust defense system. When a tree is under attack from pests or diseases, it can send out an alert through the network. This allows neighboring trees to ramp up their own defenses, preventing the spread of the threat, and it doesn't stop there. This intricate system of communication helps to maintain the overall health of the forest. It's a constant exchange of resources and information, a testament to the power of cooperation and community. In essence, tree communication is a vital part of the ecosystem, ensuring the survival of not just individual trees but the entire forest. What can we as humans learn from tree communication? A surprisingly vast amount it turns out. Just like the trees that form an interconnected network beneath the soil, we humans also thrive on connections. We are social creatures after all. We learn, we grow, and we prosper when we share information and resources much like our leafy friends. Consider this. In a forest, a tree doesn't keep all its nutrients to itself, it shares with its neighbors, ensuring the well-being of the entire forest. Similarly, when we share our knowledge, our experiences and our time with others, we foster a society that's rich in understanding and cooperation. We're at our best when we work together for the common good, just like trees. It's a potent reminder of the power of unity and the strength in numbers. So the next time you pass by a tree, remember it's more than just a plant. It's a member of a vibrant communicative community just like us.